okay guys the next one is going to be this panel but you can see here we got a problem that this header is belong to the demo page but we have this home page here so we got this error because we don't have any route protection now let's add that route protection so inside this app.jsx as you can see we have this temporary variable for authentication actually i'm going to change this to be current user so now let's add our route protection so first of all i'm going to show this home page when we have an authentication so if current user is available we are going to show this home page and if this current user is not available okay and then we are going to show this demo page now let's check it as you can see we don't have any home but we need to push the user to the demo page when there is no authentication so to do that we need to have another route here okay and this time the path is going to be this star so this star will target all the components route and inside the element we need to have a new component coming from react router dom which is called navigate make sure to import this from react router dom and we can add the path here which is equal to inside the curly braces we can say the condition we can say if there is no current user then we want to push the user to the demo page otherwise we want to push the user to the home page okay now let's check it as you can see the user will be pushed to the demo page now even though if i delete the demo in here and just write this slash for the home page i'm not able to open the home page anymore and now if i change this to be true here you can see the home header with this home component will be displayed here and now i cannot open the demo route anymore okay and this is called route protection all right now let's keep up with making our banner so i'm going to bring this back to the false okay we have our demo here as you can see we have this text and the description along with this button here now let's add them now inside this demo folder in here i'm going to add another component called banner.jsx okay and now let's import it inside this demo and actually we don't need this div here so i just get rid of this div here all right now let's style this as you can see we have this banner so inside this div we are going to have another div now for this div we are going to add a class name background color is going to be banner which was a yellow color we need to give it a border bottom border color is going to be black color okay now for this div we are going to give it a class name of this size class to get that left and right padding padding y is going to be five frame we need to add flex flex column item start and gap is going to be one frame okay now inside here as you can see we have this text so we have added the spaces between them between the this big text and the small text and also this button okay now let's add them one by one inside this div so the first one is going to be a heading one i just simply copy this text from here okay i'm going to give it a class name font is going to be title so we have added a font family inside this telvin.config.js as you can see this is a new font family so i have added them here and we need to give it a text size of 3 rem for small devices text is going to be 4 rem and for medium devices text is going to be 6 rem and finally we need to give it a phone width of normal okay 
now let's check it as you can see we have this text and this text is going to be completely responsive you can see in every version of the mobile we have a new font size okay now let's add this paragraph here so i'm going to copy this from here and down this heading line we need to have a paragraph and this text i'm going to give it a class name width is going to be full for medium devices width is going to be 33 okay we need to give it a text size of 1.3 rim for small devices but for bigger devices we are going to give it a text of 1.5 rim following that we are going to add font width of medium and finally a leading of 7 so leading and 12 CSS is line height okay now you can see we have this one all right now let's add this button so down here i'm going to have a button here and the button text is going to be start reading we are going to add a class name here btn we are going to add this inside index.css okay now let's add it so inside here i'm going to write this btn we need to write at apply here padding x is going to be 3 padding is going to be 2 text small and phone width is going to be medium okay this is the style that we are going to add for this button now inside this banner i have already added this button here okay we have this button but we need to give it a background color so i'm going to add this bg black one as you can see we have this background color and also i can add this rounded full and text is going to be white okay as you can see we have this one okay we are going to use this button class for other buttons also for that cause i have added this text small but we can resize it so in here because we need a little bigger size for this text so i'm going to change the text size here text is going to be 1.2 rim so to override a uh, css inside telvan css you need to add this explanation mark at the beginning of the class now as you can see our styling is working okay and we can actually resize this padding x also so i'm going to write here padding x is going to be six okay and margin top is going to be 2.5 frame again we need to add this explanation mark to override it and if you notice that this text is not matching with this one that is because we need to have another font family for the body so inside this telvin.config.js i have another font family which is called text so in here i'm going to target the body and i just write here at apply font is going to be text okay now let's check it you can see now our text are similar to each other all right we are done with the banner and the next one is going to be the trending post we don't have this post yet so i just write an empty component for this one and later on we can implement it okay and following that we are going to have this post and this filter part again i will leave this empty and we'll add this styling okay now let's make this component i'm going to close everything in here inside this demo i'm going to have another component called trending.jsx and i'm going to import this inside here trending okay 
now you can see we have this trending so later on i will style this when we have post okay so between the demo and the home page we have common components like the post we have post inside this page and inside the home page also so for that i'm going to add that inside a separate folder so inside this component i'm going to have a new folder and call that common so inside here i will add all the components which are common between demo and home page now before i add the post i'm going to push this code to the github because we just added a banner so i'm going to state all the changes here and write here banner okay now inside this common at first we need to have a folder for post okay and also we have comments on common also so i'm going to write here comments okay now inside this post i'm going to have a new component i'm going to call that post.jsx okay and also we need to have this filter component and i'm going to add this inside this demo folder so i'm going to name this discover.jsx okay now inside this demo i'm going to have a new div and in here we need to have another div and import this post here and for the discover component we need to have another div and import the discover component okay as you can see they are here so now let's style this i'm going to give it a class name again we need to add this size class padding y is going to be seven flex flex column reverse okay for medium devices flex is going to be row and gap is going to be seven rim as you can see we have them here but we need to add some spaces between these two so for that i'm going to write here a class name we need to add flex grow here flex to be 1.5 and for this div i'm going to add a class name flex grow is going to be one now you can see they have spaces between them and also following that we need to add a height of full for this component and position is going to be relative okay now you can see we have this post and discover here all right so for this post i just add this post text for a couple of times i'm going to copy this here inside this heading one i'm going to add this okay now let's work on this component later on we will work on this component when we have some posts okay so i'm going to open the discover here i'm going to add a class name for this div position is going to be sticky and top is going to be six frame okay this is position is sticky now inside this one we need to have another div with the class name of border bottom border color is going to be gray and 400 we need to add a padding bottom of seven okay now let's add our contents inside here so the first one is going to be this heading two i'm going to copy this text from here which is this one and add it inside here now let's add the class name we need to add a phone width of semi bold okay as you can see we have the text here okay following that we need to have another div for our filter text i'm going to give it a class name of margin y2 we need to add flex item center gap is going to be three and we need to add flex wrap inside here i'm going to map through a new array again inside this data file as you can see i have an array of tags which is called discover i'm going to import that inside here 
okay dot map we need to get it item and index now inside here I'm going to just render a button and the text is going to be this item okay as you can see we have all their tags in here now let's style this button I'm going to give it a class name here background color is going to be gray 200 padding y is going to be 2 padding x 3 text small and rounded is going to be full okay as you can see we have all of these tags in here and because we have added this map we need to have a key in here the key is going to be index again okay as you can see following that we have another button now let's add it i'm going to copy this text here so down this div we are going to have a button with this text and i'm going to add a class name here text color is going to be green and 600 text size is going to be small adding y3 for hover effect we are going to change the text to be black one okay this black one is not a tailwind css code it's coming from tailwind.config.js okay now as you can see if i hover over this text it will be changed we have this navs also so i have added them inside this data this is called discover actions down this div i'm going to have another div with the class name of flex item center flex wrap gap is going to be three and leading three line height padding top is going to be eight okay now inside here i'm going to map through this discover actions i'm going to import it here dot map we are going to get each item and index inside here i'm going to have another button here and the text is going to be item again i'm going to add a key here it's gonna be index class name we need to change the text size to be md and text color is going to be black one as you can see we have all of these navs in here here we get a problem if i scroll down you can see this component is not position sticky like this one this is because i have added an extra height in here so i just get rid of this height now as you can see if i scroll down this component is position sticky so i'm going to state all of them in here and we need to write here and i can commit this code all right 